Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I'm going to explain about uh, building blocks of Hadoop. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So the building blocks of Hadoop are nothing but the demons that are distributed over different machines of the network and carry out their associated functionality. So the building blocks or demons of Hadoop are name node, data node, secondary name node, job tracker and task tracker. So name node and data nodes of HDFS. So name nodes and data nodes are the two types of nodes in a master worker pattern of HDFS cluster. So name node is the master which messages the entire namespace of the file system. While data nodes are the workers and are considered as the workhorses of the file system. So in this, the name nodes manages the file system tree and stores the metadata for all files and directories in the persistent storage. It uses two files for this purpose. They are namespace image and edit log. So name nodes have the information of the data nodes which store all the blocks of information pertaining to a, a specific file. This information can be recreated from the nodes as soon as the system starts. Hence, the name nodes does not keep these blocks on persistent storage. And next coming to this data nodes. So data nodes store and retrieve the blocks of information upon request. They also generate reports to the name node whenever they store blocks of information. So this node is uh, responsible for carrying out the operation allocated to it by master mode. They typically perform read and write operation between HFDS blocks and uh, local file system. These operation involve splitting of files into blocks distributed over a different data node according to the instructions provided by the name node. So this is about that data node and after this the client will be able to connect with their respective data nodes to carry out their functionalities. So these data nodes perform internode communication to carry out replication on at least three data nodes. So here within this diagram we have the three nodes will be there A, B, C. So at least three data nodes will be there. So by using replication, it is possible to make the system available even if some blocks gets corrupted or deleted. The information regarding information contained with within a data node gets updated periodically on the name node to carry out further operations correctly. And next one is that secondary name node. Secondary name node is used for merging the namespace images with edit log. This integration is done so as to prevent the edit log from increasing its size. So the secondary name node basically run on a separate physical machine. So this is because merge operation requires significant amount of CPU and huge memory space. Beside this, a secondary name node maintain a copy of merged namespace images. These images can be later be reused in the events when name node failure occurs. So this is about that secondary name node. And next one is that job tracker. So job tracker is another demon of Hadoop. It is responsible for providing communication between Hadoop and end user application. So it is a master which manages the entire execution of map reduce job. So here already we discussed about the map reduce job in my previous video. Its responsibility is to create an execution plan for executing code providing by the user to the cluster. So this plan is created by performing the following tasks. So capturing the files that are needed to be included in the process allocating the tasks associated with the process to various nodes. And third one is 
tracking the execution of these tasks. So when the task fails, the job tracker automatically reaches it on the different nodes. In a Hadoop cluster, there exists only a single job tracker which typically runs as master nodes of the cluster on a server. So this is about that job tracker. And next one is that task tracker. So task tracker is responsible for managing the execution of tasks that are allocated to individual slave nodes. The basic responsibility of each task tracker is to execute all the tasks assigned by job tracker. A single task tracker has the ability to shown more than Java virtual machine. This helps in carrying out multiple MapReduce tasks concurrently. So the task tracker even communicate with the job tracker so as to provide updated information about its state. If the task tracker does not provide this information, then job tracker considered it as dead and backs all the responsibilities given to that particular task tracker. These responsibilities are then handed over to some other node in that cluster. So here we have the client will be there and job tracker. We have different nodes will be there. So these responsibilities are then handed over to some other node in the cluster to either node 1 or node 2 or node 3. So this is about that task tracker. So here this is the Hadoop cluster topology. So here we have the secondary name node is there, name node and uh, job tracker. And after that we have four blocks are there, data node and task trackers. So this is a Hadoop cluster topology. Thank you very much for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe to my channel, Open Box Education.